Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to start your first automation on Shrimpy. That means we're going to create an automation, we're going to attach that to our portfolio, and begin the process of automating our portfolio. As you can see, I have just linked another exchange account to Shrimpy. This only has $7 in it, but it will be enough for this tutorial. If you click on the drop down right here, you can see I've linked other exchange accounts as well. All of these can be automated with individual strategies that have been defined for each one of these exchange accounts. So as you can see on the dashboard, we can already see our assets. We can see how much we have of each asset. And if we go to the automation page, we can see that we haven't yet created an automation. In order to get started, click the Create Automation button. This will instantly bring you to this page that you see here where you can select your strategy, select your assets, and begin automating your portfolio. If you just want to begin automating the assets that you currently have on the portfolio, one thing that you can do is select Allocate from Balances. This will instantly go to the, your exchange account. It will collect your balances for each asset. It will calculate the percentage of each asset that you have on the exchange and it will allocate these uh, assets here. So you can either go ahead and save that or if we want to create an automation from scratch, we can also do that by adding individual assets. So say we want to add the top five assets besides uh, Tether, we can go ahead and do that. And then we could select the percentages that we want for each one. So if we want, for example, 21% in each asset and then whatever's left over in Litecoin, we can do that like this. And then don't forget to select your rebalancing strategy. The most popular rebalancing strategies in Trimpy are periodic rebalancing and threshold rebalancing. If we do periodic rebalancing, let's go ahead and select a random time period like one day. And then there are more advanced settings under show more settings. These are not mandatory settings. If you are uncomfortable with additional settings, we recommend just sticking with the standard rebalancing strategies. However, if you are comfortable with enabling dollar cost averaging or fee optimization or managing the spread and slippage, those are things that you have access to here under those additional settings. So let's go ahead and save this portfolio. We can name it something descriptive. For example, top five, this will just remind us that this portfolio is the top five assets by market cap. All right, so now that we've created our strategy, all we have to do is attach this strategy to one of our portfolios. And in order to do this, we click Start Automation. As you can see here, we only have one portfolio. Since we haven't allocated multiple portfolios at this time and transferred funds into those portfolios, we can only select this portfolio. So let's go ahead and select our only portfolio. And then you can either decide to rebalance now, which means as soon as you click the start button, it will execute a rebalance instantly. Or you can leave that disabled and it will rebalance during your next scheduled rebalance. In our case, since we selected a one day rebalancing period, that would mean our next rebalance would be in one day from now. So let's go ahead and do that. So in one day, this portfolio will rebalance to match these desired allocations. And at any time you can create more strategies. So say you want to create another strategy from your assets, you can do that. And you could save this as current balances. So that's an option and you could say set a 15% threshold for this strategy. Let's go ahead and save that. We can create another strategy that is a index. For example, let's do top 10 weighted by market cap, but maybe you want to exclude assets like USDT here. So you can go ahead and do that as well. So here we are with a top 10 uh, portfolio weighted by market cap that excludes USDT. So we can apply that. 
And for these dynamic strategies, we can't change the allocations. So Shrimpy will automatically change those allocations as we rebalance over time. But we still do get to select our rebalance period. So let's select a rebalance period of every four days. Okay, and let's save that portfolio. And in this portfolio, this is an index portfolio. So you can go ahead and type in index, save. And now you can see we have three different automations here on the right side. At any time, you can click, click a different automation. You can select start automation. You could pick portfolio one. And this other automation will start automating portfolio one as soon as you click start. So now index portfolio is automating my portfolio one. And if you desire at any point to simply not have any portfolio being automated, you can select start automation, deselect portfolio one, click start. And now as you can see, there's no green checks next to any of these automations, which means that none of your automations are currently active. They are all just sitting here waiting to be activated for a portfolio. All right, so that was a lot of information. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're always happy to help. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.